any car restoration project is actually a series of smaller restoration projects, whether you're reconditioning a, an instrument panel, whether you're doing an engine rebuild or upholstery, or in doing the complete auto body. You know, it's a series of, of projects that require different skills. And, you know, I'm with Terry Wright here, professional auto body technician, and he's got a lot of background, a lot of years doing, you know, paint and body work in the field. Uh, what are some of the things a guy should know before he starts restoring his first car? Uh, that's, that's a really, really good question. Um, I think you have to take a look inside and see what you're um, able or want to take on. And how deep do you want to get into it? Because I think uh, what we've, a lot of us have known that when we've had a classic car, we want to fix one thing and at least it ends up leading to another. And then, so then all of a sudden you're on a, you're on a, um, uh, a frame off restoration and uh, uh, you get down, you get so deep into it. I think I would make sure you know that's what you want to do and you want to get involved. Educate yourself as much as possible. A lot of good videos, especially on this site, I think mm -hmm. you, can, you can research. Um, get the help. Ask questions. Mm -hmm. I always say there's no stupid questions. Yep. The only stupid question is the one that's not asked. How about there you that? Go. How about that? Perfect. Glean as much knowledge as you can from others around you. Um, and just, you'll, you'll figure out if, if you'll have an idea, you know, that looks interesting. I think I can do that. Yep. Or there's a lot of... Uh, um, satisfaction out of painting your own car. Yeah, I agree. And actually, you know, I, I've you know, nobody nobody comes out of the womb knowing how to paint a car. And a lot of times, you know, what I used to do back in high school, I had uh, good friends that were dirt track car drives that would crash up their car every week. And every week, they'd want somebody to come in and paint it because they didn't like. And I wanted to learn how to paint cars. But I learned more by making mistakes and broken runs in the car and, and having contamination and doing all kinds of things. But every time I made a mistake, I learned just a little bit more. Now, that's a really good point uh, because you can really get discouraged if you do mess something up and feel like, oh, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. No, you actually have to make those mistakes to learn. Mm -hmm. That's how you learn it. Exactly. It gets stuck in your head. Hey, I remember what happened last time I did this. You know, learn and move up, move forward. But you can do it. It can yeah. be done. And, you know, you don't have to, you know, the first time you paint anything, you don't have to paint your car. You could paint a fender. Right, right. You know, yeah, and I've painted plenty of cars a fender at a time where mm -hmm. it's like I took it into the shop and I got this fender all painted up and nice. Sure. And I could, you know, have that done and say, hey, this much is done and now I can move on to the next thing. Sure. So it can be done. It's just a matter of a willingness to right. tackle the project in the first place. And seeing it to the end. And seeing it to the end. And, you know, and and listen and now it's so easy for people to get all the information they need. You know, back in back in my day, it was like you had to seek out the people that would give you advice. Mm -hmm. Where now with the internet, it's all there. You know, you can come down to our site, right. you can see how to repair a dent, you can see how to replace sheet metal, you can you know, see all the steps involved without having to, you know, discern it from car guys all over. And, the, you know, the whole process has gotten easier to get the information you need. It really has. And I'll go back to the satisfaction of you doing it yourself. It's huge. I mean, anybody with some money can have it, can pay to have it done. But mm -hmm. if you do it yourself, mm, you can't buy that. I agree. Yeah. And that's one thing that really, you know, I can't drive home enough to guys is, you know, this is not only about restoring cars, it's about getting the skills to know how to restore cars and going out and showing everybody what you did.